everyone, welcome back. I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at the new mana spirals that have been released today and see what has been changed. Psygames gave two water units a new spiral. First off, Laranoa, the 5 star water bow, and Rene, the 4 star water dagger. Let's start with Rene. Rene is the youngest of the three Smitty sisters. She's being used by a lot of people as backline unit to improve buff time and crit rate. With the spiral, the young girl is absolutely capable of standing in the front herself. Her first skill, Droplet Slash, has not really changed in the base mods. It does kinda make sense since she got an increase of 200% damage on each of the 6 hits with the 2.0 update. The chance of inflicting Bark has increased to a 110% base chance though, which means she can inflict the affliction a lot more now. The damage of her second skill, Trenching Strike, also hasn't changed much with the Spiral. It does increase Renee's defense by 10% more though, and it has a completely new effect. Every time you use Trenching Strike, the effect Cooling Master is applied to Renee. When this effect is active, her next 4 strike might inflict freeze for 3 to 6 seconds with a chance of 120%. This is pretty cool, no pun intended, and you won't need to bring a freezing skill for her shout skill if you want to stop the twins in their tracks. Her abilities have not changed much either. Her prime devastation sees a change from 6% to 10% and she becomes a potent stun wrist unit. Her healing double buff ability can be very useful in a co-op situation with 4 DPS since it heals the entire team. It became a little bit better with the spiral, but not much. Overall, Rene with the spiral can inflict a lot of bark, freeze the enemy and also heal the little team, even if it is only a little bit. She's not amazing, but if you like and enjoy her, spiraling her and using her in the twin fight won't be a problem. While trying out my spiraled Laranoa, I ran into some Rene players and these fights were very smooth. Since Rene is a 4 star unit, upgrading her isn't as expensive as with a 5 star unit for example, so I'm actually considering to spiral her too. I really like her, she's super cute. Let's talk about one of my favorite units in the game, Laranoa. I immediately spiraled her after the reset and it's so much fun to play with her. I uploaded a video of her in action, so go check that one out, the link is in the description below and in the top right corner of the screen right now. Her first skill, Vivid Volley, already got a pretty huge increase of damage with a 2.0 update. With the Spiral, her skill has another increase of 70% in total with all hits combined. The most important thing though, it now inflicts Frostbite. Since this is a pretty spammable skill, keeping Frostbite up is the most easy thing with Laranoa. Laranoa's second skill, Hunter's Intuition, has also changed quite a bit. It now not only increases strength and skill gauge fill rate, which by the way is also a little bit improved from 20% to 25%, um, she also applies different effects depending on how many units are near her. It's kinda similar to Summer Clear's skill. If you use it while she's alone, it also increases defense by 10%. This is helpful to activate double buff prints, for example, which can lead to even more strength buffs or uh, healing double buff skills, uh, abilities. If there's one adventurer near her, Hunter's Intuition also increases critical rate by 10% for her and the other unit. If there are two or more adventurers near her, Laranoa's first skill is immediately filled plus all the other effects are also applied to every member that's near her. This whole thing, like I said, is kind of similar or pretty much exactly like Summer Cleo's second skill works now and I really like it. So Laranoa not only buffs everyone a little bit, but she can also deal out some nice damage while doing so. Her abilities have only changed a little bit. She now only needs 15 hits to activate the critical damage buff which is extremely easy to do as a bow unit. She is now a potent stun rest unit and her skill damage ability goes up to 35% from 30%. I think this Bible for Laranoa is pretty good. It doesn't change a lot, but it adds the right things to her kit and makes her a pretty strong bow unit. 
she's tons of fun to use, and the hitcount just goes absolutely wild when you're playing with her against the twins. I gave her a crit focused build and it's amazing what kind of numbers she can do. I think I once reached 700k while attacking both of the twins with Lara Noah's first skill, which means that I was able to deal 350k damage to each one of them. And since she's a bow unit, she can use her first skill a lot, and that means it's a pretty high amount of damage she can, she can deal. So if you like bow units, if you like Laranoa and you want to make her stronger and play her in Master, Ayaha and Totoa, the Spyro will help burn their HP bar down. That's it! I hope this video helped you understand the changes that the new Mana Spirals bring. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment below. Also consider subscribing to my channel for more Tordegaia Lost content and also join us in the Discord. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!